Hello everyone, just doing a quick update before I drive on out to British Columbia tomorrow. Just getting everything kind of packed here and I'll give you a quick tour. So right here, I've got my wetsuit stuff in that bag. <laughs> Key piece of equipment being snowshoes because somebody informed me that it was in fact winter. And uh, that's a dry suit I'm gonna try out. So we'll see how that all works. Um, <laughs> I just took the diesel heater that I have been using to heat my workshop here and I installed it into my trailer. So I'll show you what's going on with that just over here. Um, I was gonna do like a professional install so that I have the gas tank on the outside of the trailer and then, you know, I could have the fuel pump that makes that ticking sound sort of mounted out here. Um, so this could be like where you fuel up and then the heater would be on the inside and the exhaust would be pumped going out through the bottom or however that would work. But instead I came up with like, what is the easiest way to do this? Because we all know if I started doing that, it'd be like a week later, I'd finally have my heater installed and that's a week of not gold mining. So I just wanted to hurry up. This right here is a one inch cam lock fitting aluminum that I've TIG welded to this aluminum plate screwed on. Now the inside of this has some threads. So I threaded in a steel shaft that goes in there. And then the, the hole I drilled is slightly larger. So there's an air gap just, you know, so I don't burn the place down. Um, and it's, it's just wood right here. There's no, no foam right there. Then of course you've got your exhaust pipe. This is exactly as it was in my garage. I had it mounted on this little wooden plate here. And so underneath you can see where the exhaust pipe comes out and that's the uh, inlet pipe right here and then all I did is I drilled a little hole right through this metal plate gotta vacuum this before I go and just screwed straight into the half inch plywood floor of the trailer so I'm just going to step into the trailer but we'll step in via the side door there so you can see what it's like I love this uh, proper like RV hardware Whole trailer is insulated with inch and a half foam. It doesn't take a lot to heat this, even just a space heater at negative 30 and the space heater doesn't have to run constantly. Double pane window, double pane skylight, covered in snow at the moment. Another double pane window. So let's step on in here. There we go. Um, right now, everything's running off this Jackery power bank. So where's the display button? Uh, we are drawing 12 watts. That'll go up to just over 100 watts. When the heater fires up, there's a glow plug that takes a fair bit of energy and then the fan runs at full speed. This is at the lowest setting. It's just taking over some nice warm air coming out of here. It's gonna make this trailer, uh, it's about the handheld camera work here, but it's gonna make the trailer a little bit too warm, but I can always, crack open my little air vent up here or crack open some windows. And I think what that'll help with is if I have a wetsuit in here that I'm trying to dry out, uh, I've got this little hanger that sort of folds open so I can hang the wetsuit in here and just all that humidity is gonna get into the air and then it's gonna get blown out through all these gaps. So it should work out that it's a, a way to dry my wetsuit every day. We'll see how well that works. Um, and then at night, I might just turn the heater off if the wetsuit's already dry or I'll leave it ticking over like that if I want to dry the wetsuit. This is my big winter sleeping bag. I'm just sitting on a cot right here. I'm just going to switch this to wide angle mode real quick so you can see the inside a little better. It's sort of a seat there. I can slide the cot that way and then sit there and use this as a table. Um, obviously just lying down here. Super comfortable setup and you get that nice view of the outside. All these lights are just touch to operate and everything's running off the jackery. So I guess that 12 watts is with all four lights running, which is just too cool. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do like a video a week for the next little while. I do have two videos. I think where I just gave you a tour of some of my gold that I found over the years. Uh, those will be your filler videos. You might expect that next Thursday instead of this. But uh, yeah, I, I just got to focus on mining for a few days. I'll probably be out for four or five days. Then got to come back to Calgary, do a bit more work on the high bankers and stuff that I'm making. I'm taking a uh, prototype model one out with me so I can make sure that it's actually a good unit and not a piece of crap. 
And once I've confirmed that it's like, okay, this thing works, I really like it, I can build a few more and get those on the website. Might not be mid-January, might be the end of the month, but uh, looking forward to getting those going, but gotta go find some gold first. Yeah, there it is. You got a uh, special compartment for your bear spray. Shoes can go up in here. Fire extinguisher might be a, uh, I hope I don't need it, but you know, served me well so far. It's definitely warm in here. The thing's only been running for uh, a couple minutes, so that's pretty cool. And of course I step out of my trailer and with this wide angle, you can possibly see that I'm underneath this thing that I built with chainsaw milled lumber. You can check that out and I'll put the little thing up to that video if you want to see how I sawed all this lumber up. But that's where I'm storing my aluminum. Got some random pieces up here. And uh, anyways, it's been a utmost outdoors vlog style video. Just a quick update on what's going on. See you soon.